Okay, guys, so. I just want to fly. Tower combat is fairly fun. Uh, again, it consists of the same sort of logic we applied at the tech plant there. It's not using the standard walkways. So, if we work from the top down, I'll show you some easy tips for you to get the upper hand on the enemy. Okay. First one is getting the height advantage on the top walkway, which is a circular walkway, as you can see. And by doing that, you use the lift. Lifts are very handy, as you saw last time. So, you want to go up the lift, like I am. And you want to get to this position here. When you're up here, guys, you can actually walk the whole way around in a, in a big circle, but you have the height advantage over the standard walkway. And obviously, height is a very key advantage in any kind of tactical scenario, guys. And you can fire down on the enemy, you can drop explosives down on the enemy, and it's surprising how many people don't look up. Also, guys, if you're at a tower yourselves, and you and your buddies are dying, and you're not sure why, look up, and it's probably someone standing right here. That's why motion spotters can be so helpful, because then you can see that somebody is at the middle of the tower. Yeah, but it's not so clear when you're where, where we are, because the motion spot could be on the actual standard walkway or below. I always put them here in the middle. Luckily I learned this a long time ago. But I use the spotters, not the, not, not the darts. But I do recognize it quite So you can go even higher if you see where time to die is, that's another good position. The big problem of where time to die is though, is that it's fairly static. Sometimes if you're trying to drop down to where we are, you're prone to actually falling off down to the standard walkway. So I'll give you guys a few minutes to practice that. Whilst you're practicing guys, we're just going to grab a quick cup of tea, back in two minutes. Okay guys, oh, yeah, I am I back do, and I'm that, armed with my cup of tea, which makes life easier. Okay guys, so if anyone can, everyone can group up on me and we'll go to the next, um, next phase. Okay, so the next phase of um, getting the upper hand on tower combat guys is literally it below me. Um, if we jump down to the support for the platform, this again is a height advantage. Obviously the clear disadvantage of here is that you have someone above you on the standard uh, walkway sometimes. But it's a good way of um, getting the enemy running around in the middle area of the tower. You can also drop to the sub-platform here, which is above the uh, walkway where they come out of their spawn room sometimes. The amount of people I see just stood still looking out outside the tower and so easy kills. Really good way, guys, of getting your KD up on this sort of ridge, and also dropping explosives off the edge as you would on the top platform. So let's w uh, work our way down, guys. Another fantastic way of getting your kills up, guys, is right here. The amount of enemy that grip up on vehicle terminals in the tower, and you can happily kill them from this location. It's unreal. Throw grenades there, get lots of grenade kills doing this. Um, if you've got anti-personnel mines, you can put anti-personnel mines on the bottom of the stairs and the top. So when they notice you, they come after you and they get blown up. And it's quite an easy way to actually fall back from, because you can jump down to where time to die is, and then retreat from the tower. Or you can actually go up and go to where we were at the top of the tower, back at that height advantage. So guys, when you're in your normal platoons and you're attacking a tower, try and do these little tips and the amount of uh, kills you'll get, I'm sure will increase because a lot of the standard average Joe infantry player, they don't do these things. Okay guys, so that concludes my real basic combat tips and the uh, tech plan and tower tips for combat. I hope some of you guys have learned something. Um, it's amazing how many people just don't know these simple things and it makes a whole lot of difference. 
Has everyone learned at least one thing during that? I know the more experienced yeah. among you probably yeah, is like really. sucking eggs, but... Oh boy. A lot. Awesome. Well guys, I, I run a training session 6pm on a Wednesday. Uh, infiltrate asbestos training. If anyone wants to take part in that, then get involved and let me know, guys. Oh,